Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, we will give you further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the ushers' directions for leaving the church. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch. Our entrance chant is number 6.40 in Celebrate in Song, Faith and Truth and Life Bestowing. Please stand. Faith and truth and life bestowing, open now the scriptures, Lord. Cease to life eternal sowing, scattered on the wind abroad. Let not hearts your word receiving, like a barren field be found, choked with thorns and unbelieving, shallow earth or stony ground. May the Spirit's power unceasing bring to life the hidden grain, daily in our hearts increasing, bearing fruit that shall remain. So in scripture, song, and story, Savior, may your voice be heard. Till our eyes behold your glory, give us ears to hear your word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, today we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have failed to be merciful and compassionate to others, especially those marginalized and in need. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary Alka, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Do not let sin exercise dominion in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. No longer present your members to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and present your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? 
Should we sin because we are not under law but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 121, our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Son of man is come. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and prudent manager whom his master will put in charge of his servants to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly, I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and if he begins to beat the other servants, men and women, and to eat and drink and get drunk, and the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour that he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. That servant who knew what his master wanted, but did not prepare himself or do what was wanted, will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know that and did what deserved the beating will receive a light beating. From everyone to whom much has been given, much will be required, and from the one to whom much has been entrusted, even more will be demanded. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today in our church we uh, celebrate the feast day of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. For those who follow our great devotion in most of the houses of Newfoundland, in my house for sure, we used to have a great big picture of the Sacred Heart in our house with a little light on it that was on 24 hours a day. It was a sign of great prayer, and it was always a great sign of, of the compassion and love of Jesus, the sacred heart. So today, we, we, we through the intercession of St. Mary Alagoc, a great French saint who had the visions of the sacred heart, uh, we, we kind of reflect on the love and mercy of God in our lives. You know, in the first reading, St. Paul today talks about the fact that for in Christ we have been set free from sin. We're no longer slaves to sin and darkness. We are children of light, really. We've all been graced in many ways by the Lord, and we have been baptized into Christ, and we have been given a share in his spirit. We have also, like St. Paul, been entrusted with the gospel, and we are members of Christ's body, the church. And like trustworthy servants or trustworthy stewards, I guess we should be called, we have been entrusted with a great deal by the Lord Jesus. And today's gospel reading calls us to be faithful and wise stewards. For the Son of Man comes at an hour we do not expect. We may be inclined to relate that to the hour of our death. Sudden and unexpected death is certainly a reality. However, Jesus is saying more here. Jesus comes to us in the daily course of our lives. And that can also be unexpected. The Lord may call us to do something we had never thought about doing before. He may take us down a path we might never have gone down if we had to make our own decision. The Lord can come to us through unexpected people and events every day. But God is always the God of surprises, and that requires us every day to be alert, to be attentive to God's many, many unexpected comings. Our prayers of intercession today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and Archbishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray today for peace in our world, especially peace in the troubled areas of our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the release of the hostages in Haiti, the missionaries taken hostage. We pray for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that uh, during this pandemic we will continue to follow the health and safety guidelines issued by our health department and that 
We pray that the pandemic will end soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, those in the hospitals, those undergoing surgery, those dealing with terminal illness, for those who are suffering through cancer and heart disease and all those things, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, for Alice Buckingham, whose funeral is this morning. We also pray today for Sister Catherine Bellamy and Sister Corona Wise. For these and all of our departed loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the prayers in the quiet of your hearts today. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the grace and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray, O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. So with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Margaret Mary Alacoc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my, my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow toward the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is 6.6 .6, Celebrate in Song, One Love Released. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people. One love released. Is not this bread we share the body of our Lord? Is not this wine we drink the blood of Christ out? One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in us all, one prayer, one One people, one love released. I am the bread of life, eat and you shall
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, o Mary you always, always shine in our path as a, a sign of salvation and of hope. hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide. But as in Cain of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings, and carried our souls, lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we or in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace now, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Our missioning chant is number 533 in the Catholic Book of Worship, sent forth by God's blessing. Sent forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from this dwelling take leave. The supper is ended, oh now be extended, the fruits of our worship in all who believe. The seed of our teaching, receptive souls reaching, shall blossom in action for God and for all. God's grace did invite us and love shall unite us to work for God's kingdom and our